HIV AIDS advocacy workshop with AP police is conducted by the Futures Group along with AP State AIDS Control Society, AP police and Avahan Partners, Hindustan Latex Family Planning Promotion Trust, International HIV AIDS Alliance along with their partner NGOs. This is the first major initiative with AP police under the India Essential Advocacy Project funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation under Avahan program. Objective of this workshop is to sensitize the police on their own vulnerability to HIV and to seek their support in implementing the HIV prevention interventions with key populations like sex workers and MSM communities. Welcome to the participants by Dr. Gangaya Futures Group. What we are facing today in the state is a virus which is a very fragile one. But Addressing the gathering, Mrs. Damianti, Project Director, Andhra Pradesh State AIDS Control Society said, Today we are facing a fragile virus surviving on human weakness. Sexual mode of transmission accounts for 90% of infection through MSM or heterosexual behavior. MSM per se is an offense, but MSM issues need to be addressed for effective HIV prevention. Similarly, sex work may not be an offense but soliciting is treated as an offence, creating problems for the HIV interventions. The state is also facing the problem of sex trafficking. The lines separating sex work and trafficking are thin, and these need to be addressed carefully to make an impact on the epidemic. And I'm still fighting the challenge of the DGP Mr. Swaranjit Sen expressed concern at the spread of HIV in AP, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Manipur and Nagaland where it reached alarming proportions. He said, the police are usually called upon to help when things go wrong. It is time the police play an effective role in HIV prevention. For this, the attitudes and mindset of the police need to change. Involvement of grassroots level constables, inspectors and DSPs is important in this context. Hence, they have been invited for this workshop. Mr. Sen cautioned that policemen are also vulnerable to HIV due to the nature of their duties and long periods of absence from family. They need to protect themselves from HIV with better awareness and safe practices. He said the role of NGOs has been useful and critical in fighting the epidemic. Interactive sessions started with the presentation of Magnet Theatre by the Alliance Partner NGO Hans from Guti, Anantapur district. This presentation highlighted the issues on how women enter into sex work, how they become vulnerable to HIV due to poverty, gender inequalities, how they are forced to engage in sex work without condoms. <laughs> A few typical reaction from the police participants during the workshop. Police are already participating in social welfare activities and the law is not a hindrance to help vulnerable groups like sex workers to adopt safe sex practices and in accessing health services. Another police officer expressed the dilemma of the police in helping sex workers to prevent HIV while their official duties demand action 
to reduce open solicitation in public places. Media criticism accusing police in collusion with sex trade often prompts us to make arrests is the typical reaction from another police officer. Everybody knows about sex workers. Why not give them license and arrange periodical medical checkups for control of HIV, said another police officer. Joint Director, AP, Police Academy, Mr. Umapati summarized the consensus, saying, Highway-based sex workers should not be arrested for possession of condoms. Existing concentrations of sex workers should not be disturbed as that will spread the infection over wider area. When a sex worker is arrested, she should be treated as witness, not a criminal, and she be counselled while cases may be booked against brokers and pimps. Arrival of Honourable Minister of Home, Shri K. Jana Reddy, at the workshop. Uh, welcome to this uh, very significant gathering of a lot of partners who have been working... Mrs. Subhadra Menon, Project Director, the Essential Advocacy Project Futures Group, welcoming the Home Minister, Shri K. Jana Reddy, DGP, Shri Swarnajit Sen, and the Principal Secretary, Health and Family Welfare, of Andhra Pradesh, Shri I. V. Subbarao. Presentation of bouquets to the Home Minister by Ms. Jayama, Secretary, CBO Network of Sex Workers, and by other community members to DGP and Principal Secretary Health. <laughs> Addressing the gathering, Shri I. V. Subbar Rao, Principal Secretary, Health and Family Welfare, Government of Andhra Pradesh, said that HIV needs a coordinated action. The DGP has shown keen interest in this problem and we need his continuous support. Involvement and support from NGO is also high and commendable in this regard. There is something wrong. The DGP, Shri Swarnajit Sen, speaking on the occasion, has reiterated the police commitment to contribute to the fight against the HIV epidemic. Before delivering the inaugural address, the Home Minister interacted with the participants to understand the issues that emerged from the workshop. Ms. Jayama, Secretary CBO Network of Sex Workers, requesting the Minister to recognize their contribution to HIV prevention and to reduce police violence. Responding to the interaction with the participants, Police Shaka, Uyge Shakto, Uyge Aarogya Shakto, Samavishwani, High-level Adhikarla Staiko, the Home Minister questioned, when prostitution itself is not an offence by law, how can the possession of condoms be an offence? Mere possession of condoms cannot be taken as proof of soliciting. I think everybody in this gathering can possess a condom without any offence as it is a lawful commodity. Addressing the gathering, the Home Minister Shri K. Jana Reddy thanked the police, NGOs, social activists for their participation in the workshop. He thanked the Futures Group for organizing this event and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for their support. There are many agencies working in containing the HIV epidemic. Government is also taking this problem seriously as it is more dangerous than an atomic bomb. I feel there is a need to discuss the kind of support from police in greater detail at the level of senior police officers and the health department, followed by a discussion with the concerned ministers. 
I will organize a discussion with my officers on this issue. We recognize the need for serious attention and action to contain the HIV epidemic. On the issues deliberated in the workshop, the Honorable Minister made the following statements. Possessing condoms by sex workers or anybody is not an offence and cannot be used as evidence for arrest. At the same time, public nuisance through open soliciting by sex workers is unacceptable. Hence, I request all to ensure that there is no open soliciting in public places. Harassment of outreach staff and peer educators working in the HIV intervention will be stopped, provided the police are supplied with identity cards and addresses of the field staff. I am giving orders to this effect now itself. <coughs> However, on investigations at a later stage, if they are found to be indulging in unlawful activities, we may take action as per law. Sex workers also need to observe their responsibilities to the society. I appreciate the police and other partners for their inputs through this workshop and request all the agencies and departments for a coordinated response to the epidemic. We will discuss further steps in detail in a seminar in near future. On behalf of the police, a woman police officer thanked the participants.